Whether you're hitting the road or kicking back in the cab, it's time to take a load off with Big Rig Banter. Powered by AllTruckJobs.com, your source for finding the trucking jobs drivers really want. Get ready to shift into gear and let the conversations roll. All right, truckers, hello and welcome. The date is June 17th, and you're listening to the 56th episode of Big Rig Banter. I'm your co-host, Troy Diffenderfer. And I'm your favorite co-host, Lene Rule. Hey, guys, I just want to take a minute and give a special shout-out to all the professional drivers out there. You're the ones keeping America moving during this challenging time. And Pilot Flying J wants to say thank you as well. To show their gratitude for all you do, they want to give you more rewards and more points. It's called Push for Points, and it can get you to four points faster while you're racking up those hard-earned miles. That's right. You can reach four points per gallon after only six qualifying fills. Push for Points is available only in the Pilot Flying J app for a limited time only. And it's as easy as one, two, three. Here's how it works. Step one, push the Activate button in the app at the beginning of each month. Step two, fill your tank with at least 75 gallons of diesel. And step three, sit back and watch your point balance grow faster than ever before. You'll increase your earning level after each commercial diesel fill over 75 gallons, from one to one and a half to two to two and a half and so on. You'll be earning four points per gallon for the rest of the month after six qualifying fills. And what can you do with all those points? Well, your rig's not the only thing that needs a fill up, right? When you get hungry or you need a tasty beverage, you can redeem points for in-store savings on the essentials, as well as merchandise for you and your rig. And when you pull into park for a while, you can redeem points for a reserved parking spot and Wi-Fi credits at participating Pilot and Flying J locations. And again, from Pilot Flying J, thank you for all that you do, drivers, and stay safe on the road. See terms and conditions at pilotflyingj.com slash app. All right, Troy. Well, I have some bad news, or maybe it won't be bad news to you, but... Uh Uh-oh. I did not come up with trivia questions. No trivia at all? Our fans are going to be very disappointed. (laughs) I uh, was too busy traveling the past two weekends. Um, So anyway, I just like... Yeah, to be honest, I just kind of forgot to come up with trivia questions. And, you know, I felt so bad about stumping you um, the last time. So I figured we'll take a week off. Maybe I'll bring them back uh, again in the future um, if you really miss them. Maybe our, our listeners can weigh in. So if you want me to continue trivia with Troy, uh, reach out to us on social media. Let me know. Give me some ideas. <laughs> all right, all right. I guess that's fair. I mean, luckily, yeah. I have a pretty funny story that like just happened. I mean, I think it's funny. Everyone else might oh, think Lord. it's lame, but <laughs> all right. So you know, we were just talking at lunch. I got, I was bad, and I went to McDonald's. You are always going to McDonald's. No, I'm not. I've been pretty good. I mean, now that I'm hooked on cheeseburgers, not so much. But all right. So I was at McDonald like in the drive-through. And, you know, I had my mask on, all that stuff. The guy's, you know, taking the money. And he looks at me and he's like, holy crap, you look like Edge from WWE. I love that guy. <laughs> so for those not familiar, Edge is a professional wrestler. And I'm a huge professional wrestling fan. You know, Lene knows that. I've been over to her yeah. friend's house for pay-per-view parties. But that, like, made yeah. my, like, I'm riding that high right now. And... I like told everybody. I had to text my mom. I texted Lid right after. She's like, "Oh my God, people think I'm a celebrity." I, I mean, you are you sure that guy just hasn't been locked up in quarantine for too long? Because you're not even like that muscular. Or um, okay, I was in my car, so he only saw like <laughs> from the top. Up. Or you've just been hitting that McDonald's too hard, and you're looking more buff than usual. <laughs> That's true. It could be that, but. I mean, I've been recognized as, like, some crazy celebrities, which, like, just is really funny. Like, one guy I thought I looked like the lead singer of Nickelback before. And, like, one person thought I looked like Johnny Depp from the movie Blow, which, like, I would take all of these compliments. I mean, my mom and Lydia will roll their eyes and, you know, think I'm delusional. But 
I appreciate all I of mean, them. I I think it's cool right. having a lookalike celebrity. I've only ever been compared to one celebrity. Who was that? And it was, it was Weird Al. <laughs> nice, nice. I, I can think see it with the of hair. My hair. Yeah, I can see yeah. the curly hair. But anyway, it was not meant as a compliment when it happened. So yeah. anyway. But that yeah. was a that was a really cool thing that happened today, and I'm very proud of my celebrity likeness. Well, I'm glad that you're in such a good mood. I am, and I'm even I'm in a good mood, especially because of our topic today. Um, it's one of my favorite things to talk about, and that's music. But Lene, why don't you uh, introduce our topic for today? Yeah, so I have been. Um... Like, every time I go on a trip, I have to make a playlist for that specific uh, journey. And then I got to thinking about being a truck driver and how you would probably run out of things to listen to or, you know, always be looking for new playlists to listen to while you're on the road. So I proposed to Troy that we make a trucking playlist for our listeners. So if you want to listen to the full playlist, it is available now on our YouTube channel. Um, but each of us picked a couple songs and added to it, and I'm sure we'll add more <laughs> in the future as we think of, of some. But yeah, so we put a little uh, trucking playlist together. Some of the songs are directly related to trucking. Others are just some of Troy and my favorite road trip songs. And uh, yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> yeah, and for anyone that knows me, you know I love talking about music and I love sharing new songs that I find. I think that's the best feeling ever is when you find a song or a band and you share it with someone and they end up falling in love with that band or falling in love with that song too. I mean, I always like want everyone to just love every single thing I listen to and I think my you know music taste is superior, but I think a lot of people yeah, think okay. like that. But I, I, <laughs> I think this is going to be really fun and again... You know, just due to copyright stuff, we can't really play a lot of these songs, but um, we do have that playlist on YouTube, and I also recently wrote a blog covering some uh, trucking songs to add to your playlist, so that's also another option if you're looking for uh, new songs. But, Lene, why don't you kick it off? What's the first song you'd add to your playlist? All right, so the first song that I thought of, I don't know, this is weird, so you probably didn't grow up listening to 90s country music, but I did. Okay, and, okay. Um, <laughs> there used to be this song called Papa Loves Mama. It's a Garth Brooks tune, and the whole song is a story about the dad who's a truck driver and the mom at home having an affair. So it's not exactly a positive Wow, you're starting off strong. Being, wow. being a truck driver, but it's the first one that comes to my mind when I think of songs about truck drivers because I think it's the only one I specifically could think of that was actually about truck drivers. Um, <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so, you'll see, you'll have that one on. It's a good old fashioned country song. Like, it, it'll make you laugh. So, uh, definitely check that out. <laughs> you're really setting the bar high for me, Lene. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go uh, a different genre, and most people that know me, I'm more of a rock and roll type of guy, if you couldn't judge by, you know, the hair and how I dress. Um, I'm going to go with the classic, though, and uh, Highway to Hell is something that I would definitely add to my trucking playlist. Uh, it's just a great song that, like, keeps you energized, and, you know, it's, it, it's rocking, and it's one that you can, you know, turn up and... I had the lovely chance to see ACDC live, I would say, close to seven or eight years ago, and that was such a really cool thing. And, you know, during Highway to Hell, they actually had this giant, you know, blow-up train that, like, slowly inflated while they were singing the song. And it was, you know, there was uh, a a female rider on top. I won't get into any more description, (laughs) but that was, uh, it was definitely a sight to see, especially as, like, a 14, 15 year old. So that was really, really cool. But um, Highway yeah, to Hell is definitely awesome. a song that I'm going to put on my trucker playlist. And that's going to be one of the first songs I'm playing or a song that's going to get me through the night, especially when uh, things are getting a little slow. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, believe it or not, I um, drove like to Florida one year with my dad, and ACDC is his favorite band. So we literally 
listening to ACDC for like hours nice and hours on our straight through drive from Pennsylvania to Florida. So I agree. ACDC is great for keeping you awake on the road. <laughs> Another song I thought of right away, just obviously because it's called Truckin' was Grateful Dead. Um, and so those who know me know I'm a bit of a of a deadhead. So <laughs> I felt like that song had to go in there too. I don't know if there's any other Grateful Dead fans listening, but are you a Dead fan? I don't know if you really ever got into Grateful Dead. I'm not a huge Dead fan. I mean, I think they'd be good to listen to on the road because, like, e- isn't each song like seven hours long? So then, like, you only have to listen. Yeah, you-, you only have to add one song to your playlist <laughs> just for like, just for one trip. So that's pretty cool because, I mean, I I have a lot of friends that are into you know the jam bands and that kind of scene, but. I don't know. I think I'm more of a lyric guy and, you know, being able to sing along. And I think I get tired after singing along to a 12-minute song. (laughs) Yeah. Um, Yeah, no, I saw this meme on Facebook that was like, we've been in quarantine for the entire length of a Grateful Dead song. (laughs) (laughs) That sounds about right. But I can definitely see how that's a really good trucking song. I mean, the title's fitting. And, you know, it's definitely, and it's something good to play as background music. So you maybe you don't want to focus necessarily on the lyrics and singing along. And you just kind of, you know, well, it's like when I don't you, know why you're, you're dissing on the, the Grateful Dead I know, lyrics and, I know. And, the, and the bouncy tune. I mean, you can dance in your, in your seat, you know. That's fair. <laughs> Another All one. Right, I, what other songs you got? <laughs> yeah, another song that I would select, and this one's kind of polarizing, you know, and it's a... Uh, from a newer band they're called Greta Van Fleet and the song's called Highway Tune and I guess the reason why they're so polarizing is you know if you closed your eyes and you've never heard of them before they would sound exactly like Led Zeppelin which I think is really cool but you know there's a lot of people out there that feel like they're copying them or you know they're just a, a Led Zeppelin parody band or something like that but I think it's cool to have a young band like this that's extremely talented that, yeah, they definitely sound like Led Zeppelin, but it's going to get a younger generation into classic rock and that type of music because they're not making music like they used to anymore or that frequently. So to me, I think it's an awesome band to add to your playlist. Um, like I said, if you're into classic rock, I think you're going to like Greta Van Fleet, even if they sound very, very similar to Led Zeppelin. Yeah, for sure. I love Greta Van Fleet. And the first time I heard them, I literally... Um, actually, I think I was like listening to the radio and the guy played Led Zeppelin first and Greta Van Fleet second or something like that. But he played them back to back and it was, a, it was really cool because you could hear the difference, but mm-hmm. they are very, very similar. So I think that's an awesome band, um, for those of you who like classic rock to check out cause they're a newer band and, uh, they're getting, yeah, they're getting the younger generation tuned in to old music which let's face it the older music is the better music am i right <laughs> i def 100 percent agree and i think a lot of our <laughs> listeners are going to agree with that statement too yeah um so that kind of brings me to my uh, next song going up the country by can heat um do you know who can heat is i've heard of the band name but i could not yeah and i know the okay. the, the video on our playlist is actually you know a, a recording from Woodstock, which I think is also really, yeah. really cool. Yeah, so Canned Heat has a special place in my heart. They played at Woodstock, and I actually got to see them live, um, I don't know how many years ago, but they, at the end of the show, invited me back stage, and so I got to hang out with the band and uh, party with them and talk to them, and it was really, really cool. And they, um, you know, they're a bunch of older guys, and they just, we're so flattered that a young person like myself was listening to their music still. Um, but Going Up the Country is a really catchy uh, song, and that's, like, my number one, like, favorite road trip song to play. So, yes, check out Canned Heat. I think you would really like that. And they have a lot of other songs that you probably uh, would recognize, too. Yeah, I definitely plan on checking that out, and I'm sure some of our listeners have, are definitely familiar. Some of our older truckers... Uh, definitely have listened to them before um i'm gonna have a little bit of a confession this next song is uh from a genre that not many people know that i listen to but i'm actually a sucker for you know these new country artists so like 
the Florida Georgia line and the the Sam oh Hunt and things like that. God. I know. I <laughs> I'm just kidding. Lynn will roll her eyes when I put it on the radio, but um, I'm definitely and one of these you know up and coming artists is this guy Jordan Davis, um, and he recently just put out an album and one of these songs is called Detours. And it's definitely, and I'm also a sucker for cheesy love songs. And this is like a total country love song about, you know, this guy saying about all the detours he's taken and finally, you know, uh, met his wife or soon to be wife and things like that. So I know I'm always going to, I send Lid these kinds of songs thinking she's going to like swoon. And she's just like, why, why are you sending me these things? But I like it. And I think it's good for those hopeless romantic truckers out there you know maybe you're heading home towards your loved one and this is a great song to you know listen to that while you're out on the road so i like it and i think there's other people out there will appreciate it all right well as a single person (laughs) i'm going to counteract that with (laughs) a song that maybe you wouldn't expect me to listen to okay Uh, but one i added to the list was tupac bury me a g and uh that one Although it can be a little offensive if you, if you are like, uh, you know, got sensitive um, ears. Uh, <laughs> it is a song all about not worrying about finding a relationship, but focusing on making money. And uh, <laughs> when I did my cross country road trip, um, one of my friends made me a mix uh, mixtape CD, and that was the first song that she put on the playlist. So. That song holds a special place in my heart, keeps me focused on not feeling lonely or left out of the sappy romantic songs, but just celebrating okay. uh, working hard and making money. And I feel like there are a lot of truckers out there who can resonate with that. <laughs> That's true. I have to say I did not expect Tupac to show up on our playlist, especially <laughs> from you, but I, I appreciate it. I'm more of a biggie guy, but I, I appreciate, yeah. you know... <laughs> Uh, rap from that era too but um, just to yeah. round things off the last uh, trucker song that I would add and I think we've all been there sometimes we just want to listen to a song that lifts us up you know it doesn't have to be you know a hardcore rock and roll song and fast paced or anything it's just a song that makes you feel good and that's this one and hey you've heard me talk about this band all the time i still say they're one of the most underrated you know un- unknown music groups out there and um well we saw them together right we, we did years ago yes we did yeah. um jj gray and mofro you know it's a, a country soul blues jazz big band i don't yeah. even know how to describe it but the the talent they have is so amazing and they have this song called the sweetest thing um and he wrote it about his newborn daughter which is also really 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 cute and you know it's this cool you know swaggering uh blues slash like pop song and i just it's hard to explain it unless you hear it and i recommend a lot of our truckers checking it out it's on the playlist and he still has one of the most unique and soulful voices that i've ever heard and you know i could talk about jj gray and his talents until you know forever so i definitely recommend (laughs) checking it out yeah, that's awesome. So I feel like between the two of us, we made a playlist that has um, a good variety of music on it. And mm-hmm. hopefully, um, for those of you listening who are music fans, we will have reminded you of songs that you love but forgot about and maybe introduced you to some new uh, music. I'm definitely going to check out Jordan Davis when we get off uh, recording here. But um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't usually listen to pop country, but if you like it, I'll check it out. I know. There's been bands I've definitely sent your way and you ended up liking, and we've even seen some of these artists together, which is also really, really cool. Yeah, for sure. So, listeners, what are your favorite songs to listen to on the road? Share with us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Send us some of the songs that you like, and we'll add them to the playlist. And be sure to go to our YouTube channel and check out the playlist that Troy and I created. Yeah, and as always, we really appreciate reviews, whether it's on iTunes or Spotify or any place where you can uh, leave us a review. We really appreciate any feedback, and, you know, it's going to help us reach out to more listeners and uh, hopefully grow big rig banter. Yeah, for sure. Anything else we got to add today, Troy? Um, I don't think so. I do think things are looking up, you know. Uh, 
I think we'll soon be able to see each other soon and, you know, have some social distancing guidelines. But I think uh, we're seeing a little Whatever. bit of normalcy. Yeah, we're seeing a little <laughs> bit of normalcy <laughs> popping up. And I think that's definitely encouraging, especially, you know, as the weather's getting nicer and nicer. I think we need to spend, you know, time in the nice weather with people and not just uh, cooped up in quarantine. So I'm excited to see you and, you know, Hopefully soon we'll start seeing some live music together again. I'm definitely looking forward to that. Oh, my gosh, yes. Absolutely. And it's just a few uh, days away from summer. It's getting hot out there. So truck drivers, stay safe, stay cool. And I think that about wraps it up, Lene. Once again, I'm your co-host, Troy Diffenderfer. And I'm your favorite co-host, Lene Rule. And this has been Big Rig Banter. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Big Rig Banter. For your next job, check out alltruckjobs.com, the premier online source for finding the best driver jobs in the country. Browse hundreds of positions by freight or driver type to get back on the road with confidence. Click subscribe to keep the conversations coming. Until next time on Big Rig Banter.